All right, before it gets any darker, I'm gonna do a uh, walk around on the lights on this thing. You can see the ones in the grill, the way they got them mounted. So there's four in the grill, and there's four on the back of the hood. The way these on the hood work is they just they just slip on. They got these uh, things that they slip on, and they got two set screws underneath right there. These basically take the place of the lights that you would normally see up there around the visor. And the cool thing about these is, is you don't get any reflection back into the, uh, the glass on the ones that are on the visor. And you can actually see, you can barely, when you're sitting in the truck, when I turn them on, you'll be able to see them. Uh, you, can, you can tell that they're on from inside the truck, which is pretty cool. They don't make any wind noise either. That didn't didn't affect it none in there. All right, so we're gonna go to the to the sides here and look at the sides. I'll show you them. So these are the two on the sides. They're the same light. They're just a uh, flush mount light. They're amber and yellow. Got two of them there. And then there's two on the back, but you're not ever hardly gonna see those because I'll be hooked to a trailer the majority of the time. Uh, you know, and that'll be blocking view on it, which is which is fine. They're the same light that's on the sides and in the grill. And oh, my tag! They finally uh, did my stamp my tag. Uh, checked on it yesterday, and I guess they're behind for the COVID. I've got all my paperwork in the truck there for it. Uh, you know, it's showing where I bought it. I just hadn't got it yet. So this is the right side. It mimics what's on the left side. Same two lights right here. So all in all, there are uh, 14 of those strobe lights on this truck. Eight of them being on the front, uh, four on the sides, and then two on the back right there. And also inside of every box is lit too. And I'll, I'll show that. We're about to jump in the truck and I'm gonna show you how they work. All right, so in my silver truck and in this truck is, uh, you've got auxiliary switches here. There's five of them, plus you've got a PTO switch there too if you have a PTO on the truck. The way these trucks come are these two are hot even when the key's off when you touch them on. The next three are not set from the factory like that, but you can go into your dash here and go under commercial settings and you can turn you can turn them however you want them if you want them all to be where you can turn them on without the key switch being on you can do it either way uh, which is uh, very very slick like that so this truck I'm gonna cut it off I've got it set to where the first auxiliary switch works the eight on the front and that's it the second auxiliary switch right there works the whole back of the truck and then the third auxiliary switch works the lights inside the toolboxes so we're going to cut these on you'll be able to see them when they cut on so you can see them right there and we'll get out and then uh i'll cut the ones on the bedside there and i'll cut them on you see them come on in the mirror and you know when those auxiliary switches are on, when they're lit right there, see I hit it, it turns it off and then turns them on. And then number three cuts on the toolbox lights, all the compartments on there. So let's jump out and I'll, uh, I'll show it to you here. All right, so this is the front looking straight at it right here. And the bright sun is not, you know, as bad as that, as strong as that is right there. But I will say this, I have done a lot of storm work in the dark uh, several different times. Uh, we've had tornadoes and stuff come through straight line winds and I've ended up being on the side of the road or something working or even working uh, some hurricane stuff and things like that. Uh, that's going to be very handy as far as that goes because you just can't be too safe anymore. Um, and you know it just it just makes sense or whatever for me 
So we'll walk around to the side over here where you can see on the side. So I'll kind of stand right here. You can see those two on the side right there. You see, I've got my phone number on that logo there. And so I'm not moving where you can pick that up. So you can see those two. I'll go around to the back also. So there's the ones on the back. All right, so, uh, you know, I, I, one other thing too, when you, when you pull up on a, on a job or something, you know, your, your appearance, uh, the way people perceive you sometimes is, uh, you know, good and bad. And, uh, I think, uh, being set up looking professional looking especially in the line of work that i do is uh i think it's very important and i think it speaks volumes about you too i think it goes a long way uh with people uh, because a lot of times i know in the logging world people they kind of have this uh stereotype about a logger being a you know great big old beard overalls you know plaid shirt and all that stuff like that you know what i mean or suspenders and and what have you and maybe not being very smart or something you know but it i've i've fought that that for years but i think uh you know the biggest thing is the safety factor on this being able to be seen and then uh you know to where something don't happen while you're out there on the road because the uh, a little bit of money that I spent on this right here may save me a lot of heartache uh, down the road, especially storm stuff, because storm stuff, if you've never dealt with any of that before, all the tree guys have, but it's pretty chaotic, man, uh, when you, um, you know, power lines are down, people are frantic, they want help and, and all this, and they just want things to be fixed and you know, people are uh, running around like chickens with their head cut off and, and all. And I just, it's, it's just a good idea. Oh, and I'll show you. I'll go over here to the Mini. I've got a light bar on the Mini, too. I'll, uh, I'll show it. I hadn't, I've had it on there for about two months. I'll, uh, I'll show it while I'm out of here. All right, so I'll show you all the boxes here, the lights on them. There's the LED light on the, on the door right there. These are on magnets. They're the neodymium ones that have the hole in the center of them. And they're, you can, so you can unstick them and stick them inside there. You could stick it uh, right there too, either way. But, uh, they, when they ordered these, they, they got too strong of magnets. That's the reason why this is right there. But you can, you can just slide it and get it, get it to come undone. But anyhow, I'm going to order some more magnets that are a lot lighter, uh, poundage than these are and but you can see what it does in that box right there how it lights that box up let's go to this one here let me it's a bit hard to do it one hand see there's that one right there i've already started taking some of the stuff out of this truck because i'm gonna be in my other truck tomorrow uh, i'm gonna be uh traveling to do some tree work tomorrow so there's that one right there all right let's go over here so the the two door one, this box up here, you got a light on this door, and then on the back of uh, this door is is one. I'm not gonna open this one because it's in kind of a little bit. If I if I got one complaint about this uh, bed, it's the way they've got these latches done on this door right here on both sides. You've actually got a latch at the bottom and a latch right there, and they're a little cumbersome to uh to get a hold of and like i said if i have one thing that i really disliked about it that would be it let me cut these all these strobes off now cutting them off i'll leave the lights on in the box where you can see so we'll go around over here to the other side you can see this one right there it is i'm gonna put a shelf in this box here on this side i've just got my vice in there but i'm gonna put a shelf in here on it and then this
this one is the same way. There's a light right there. Because they end up in the dark a lot. And I mean, see, it's lighting it up out here too. They end up in the dark a good bit. Uh, this one, same way. It's got a light. I'll show you this one. See it right there? I've got a shelf to go in here too. And this, in this whole box, so I got three saws in here on this side. And I'll be able to put a, I, when I, I get my shelf in here, I'll be able to put three more saws. I may be able to put, I'm going to check it, put, you know, one shelf in here and I'll see if there's enough room to put a second one. But in that back part of that box right there on, on that one, I've got a shelf coming to go in that one over there too. I've not set the fuel tank in here yet. I hadn't painted it yet. No, I just, I've had, uh, I've had too much stuff going on to, uh, to mess with with that i'll do it after memorial day uh, weekend because my my thing is is um uh, as long as i can do jobs and make money that's what i'm gonna do is you know knock that stuff out like that and do it and i i can do that stuff when i'm not i don't have a job you know a job to do or something and um uh, you know work like that. Let's go over and we'll check the mini out. But I'm I'm happy with the uh, 5500. Uh, that truck is just the way it commands that gooseneck is just crazy, and it's so comfortable to drive. You're you're not in a strain driving. Like uh, it just it just handles that trailer so well, and it just it just pulls. I mean, it just pulls. You can see my chipper sitting right there. I'll uh, cut this thing on. This one here is actually a, an entire light bar on this one. Here, so you can see the lights out there flashing from it. We'll have to go out here. It's a, uh, well, I'll tell you, we'll go over this way. It's a magnetic mounted light bar. And it's super thin. It's only about that thick and i think it's uh 16 inches wide i believe and you can change the flash pattern on it just by the switch where you turn it on and off i think it's still in out there far enough there it is you can see a little bit up there now there we go so uh a rocket machine that's pretty handy when i'm in the road loading in the road or anything like that and like i said i've had it on there about two months now i ordered it i don't remember where i ordered it from jump up here i'll let y'all see there he is that son of a gun is wicked bright right there man It's got a switch. Here, I want to ring and flip it off. <clears throat> so, anywho, like I said I had uh, a couple of different people in the comments asking about wanting to wanting to see it, see how I had it set up. It's not that I'm showing it off or anything. It's just because I mean, other people want to do they want to do some of the same thing, and it. It gives you ideas, you know, on how to do it and fix it up and, and everything like that, which is pretty cool because, uh, you know, you can learn from what I did and change and adapt. Uh, they did a, a very nice job on wiring, uh, wiring everything up, uh, hiding everything where you couldn't see it, putting it all in, in loom and uh, fixing it all up like that. And then I'm gonna use one of the other switches for my fuel tank, uh, the auxiliary on it, and get it done. I've actually got a uh, RDS uh, gravity flow system that'll go, that'll connect onto that fuel tank, and it'll just tee right into the uh, filler neck right here. 
and there's a there's all there's already spliced right there from where when they put the bed on it's got a splice so i don't even have to cut the filler neck it goes it just goes right there and it's all gravity flow you just connect it to your fuel tank and uh when you open the valve on it on the tank up there it just gravity flows into your truck tank and it's got a uh, ball valve on it they call it a rollover valve but the way it works is is when the fuel gets to a level in the tank there it actually pushes the ball up shuts the fuel off where it doesn't uh where it don't keep flowing into the uh in here and then run out or anything like that and so i got that and i'll be putting that fuel tank it'll go all the way up there at the uh at the front of the truck up there is where to go like i said i'm about to take some more stuff out of uh out of this truck here and uh and put it in my silver one because i'll be in it tomorrow because of where i'm going tomorrow and uh so it'd be pretty cool that's the cool thing about the youtube stuff i've i've got uh i've gotten jobs everywhere uh, because of it i'll show you the fuel tank here up close on it now when i show the rds too so this is where the pump the pump will go right there and I'll only run clear fuel in it too. Uh, I won't run any dyed fuel in it. It'll all be clear. That way I can always fill up off, of, you know, into my truck tank. That's where you'll fill it at right there. Uh, the vent will go right there. And it, that's where I pressured it up at too, to pressure test it right there. The uh, gravity flow will go right there. I still got to put the tabs on, the angle iron tabs on it for the, uh, to mount it to the bed of the truck. But it turned out, it turned out very nice. I still hadn't set a capacity on it or anything, how much it'll hold. It's going to hold a lot, though. Um, here is the, uh, RDS. That's it kind of funny i didn't notice this when i picked it up but uh <laughs> it's for a dodge it's got a forward pulling a camper on it right there uh i wished i'd have known about this when i did my other one i could still go back and put it in my silver truck over there but what i do on my silver truck i just pump out of the tank into the other tank but with this right here you just as long as you ain't gotta use the bathroom or something you just roll you never uh gotta worry about uh stopping or anything I, I stay busy with the tree work and the excavator work I do I do a lot of it I keep it I've got a flow working to where I kind of go look at jobs early in the week you know Monday Tuesday something like that and then I work them the latter part of the week and uh roll them like that and i have a uh i have a method to how i how i do it and and make it happen and all and the uh the chipper over there i'll get some video of it don't worry uh i didn't get any of it today because i didn't have a camera with me today except for my phone and me and me and hunter we were hustling pretty good and I was working with him some on some things, but uh, um, I'll get I'll get some video of it. Uh, that thing it does not play. Uh, the stuff I was running today, I uh, put I uh, looked at the hour meter on it a while ago. I put three hours on it. I was burning about five gallons an hour in it. I burned about fifteen gallons of fuel or gas in it today, which I you know I expected that, and and I don't mind that either. And that's about when it's running hogging stuff like i was today because man we sent some big stuff through that dude today and uh so that's probably gonna be it might burn a little more than five gallons an hour but there again what i'm getting out of it is uh it's it's, it's crazy and stuff so uh i uh i don't mind that at all but uh so i hope y'all like that video you can hear the dogs over there cutting up there's probably a rabbit out there in front of their 
pen they want to go kill and uh that's what they're probably fussing about over there because their their bellies are full and all that good stuff but uh and they may want to be on camera who knows so i uh, hope y'all enjoyed this if you need any tree work around here or anything um hit me up my email is right down below uh i will travel for the right jobs and that takes a that takes a good bit of communication and some pictures and possibly some videos sent to me so i kind of know what i'm looking at before i come and look at it you know and uh so uh but i will i will do stuff like that too but uh you need you just just hit me up my email is right down below and that's, that's the best way to get a hold of me but uh appreciate y'all watching we'll catch y'all later later taters